This time around, what we are also trying to do is to bring out what we are calling the Kathmandu Declaration on Financing Local Adaptation. And I will uh, not read out the entire two-page uh, statement, but I will just uh, say a few of the highlights. First of all, it is called the Kathmandu Declaration from this conference, the Community-Based Adaptation, eighth conference of Community-Based Adaptation. It is not endorsed by any government or uh, agencies who are here. It's just a general view of the people who are here. And we spent a lot of time thinking about what should be in this. Uh, we had a drafting committee that used to meet la every night. Last night they were up till 12 o'clock drafting it. And during the day, during the sessions, we asked everybody to make contributions, which were all pulled together into a very short, sharp uh, document, two pages only. And the key messages are the following. Firstly, we are asking the global community to enhance the level of funding for adaptation to climate change in the developing countries. So the first message is enhance the level of funding that is already being made available. We need a lot more. The second message, again at the global level, is to ensure that whatever funding for adaptation is made available, whether it's from the Green Climate Fund or the Adaptation Fund, or bilaterals like DFID in the UK or GIZ in Germany, or foundations like the Rockefeller Foundation and the Munich Re Foundation, which is also represented here, that they take into account the need to direct funds to the most vulnerable communities. And we are asking for at least 50% of the funds to be allocated to the most vulnerable communities. And here we would like to cite the example of Nepal, who has not just done 50%, but has allocated 80% of the funds to the local level. So we, we, we laud Nepal. We, we want other countries to follow the example of Nepal. And so I'd like to, you know, again, applaud the government of Nepal for a very far-sighted uh, policy decision. And we want policymakers from other countries to follow their example. The third level of um, our advocacy or uh, request is at the national level. Governments and city governments and other decision makers who allocate resources at national level, NGOs even sometimes also allocate resources. We have representatives here from the, uh, the Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program that is run by UNDP. They were here and they have also pledged to take forward this idea of allocating to the most vulnerable. That at the national level and the sub-national level as well, decision makers who are making decisions on allocating resources for climate change adaptation should pay special attention to the poorest and most vulnerable. If they don't pay special attention to the poorest and most vulnerable, then they will not be allocated, they will lose out. So we, we urge everybody to pay special attention and that means Allocating, we ask for 50%, even if it's not 50%, do what you can, but allocate something and monitor it and report on it. That's very important. We need to know what you're doing. You need to be uh, make yourself accountable by uh, sharing with us what you are doing and how much you are spending for the most vulnerable. And so finally, what we then did, this is the Kathmandu Declaration. I've mentioned the salient features, the asks, as they are called, to the global community and to the national decision makers. Then the question comes, what about us? What are we doing? Can we, are we just going to talk the talk or are we going to preach or are we going to practice what we preach and, and walk the walk as well? And so amongst us, all of us in some different shape or form, some individually, some as groups, have made pledges to do something. Each of us will go back and we will do something to make the Kathmandu Declaration real. We had examples from a group from the Pacific Islands who said they go back to the Pacific Islands, they talk to their governments, they talk to AOSIS, the Alliance of Small Island States, and give the government to declaration to them. We had a representative from the city government of uh, Surat in Gujarat in India, who said he'll go back and he'll translate it into Gujarati and he'll give it to all the city officials in his uh, city. So everybody has uh, promised uh, similarly to go back and take the Kathmandu Declaration principles of allocation and, and prioritization of the most vulnerable and see if they can uh, implement them or persuade others to implement them. And then next year, we will take stock of all of these pledges. And the pledges have been made on camera with their names and they'll be on the website. And so with everybody's name, the pledges will be there on our website. So next year we look at them and we'll ask you to report back yourselves, ourselves, on what we have done to fulfill the pledges that we made while we were here at CDA 18 in Nepal. Uh, 